It's my pleasure to welcome the new South African national senior women's head coach, Desiree Ellis, who's been appointed after an 18-month period as interim coach, now as the national coach, ahead of what is a very busy year indeed for Banyana Banyana. Desiree, thanks so much for your time. Congratulations. How does it feel to be the new national coach of South Africa? I'm still in awe, a little bit emotional still, um, as uh, I've been interim for a while and uh, never really looking at that tag but just doing the job and uh, um, very excited though, a um, couple of mandates that we have to do which is, which is achievable but uh, still trying to absorb everything. The year ahead is a, is a massive year for Banyana Banyana, is there more pressure now that you have the, the permanent coach? label as opposed to just being the interim coach? I mean, is there added pressure going into a year where you need to qualify for the African Women's Championship and of course the big one, which is the World Cup in France in 2019? Look, while I was interim coach, I never uh, worked around that tag. Um, the goals was always the same. Qualifying for AFCON, um, qualifying for World Cup, um, doing well at World Cup, um, hopefully to win AFCON because we've never done it and uh, to make sure that we, by winning it, you make sure that you qualify for the World Cup. A lot has been made of women's football and, and in particular it appears that women's football is in a really good place with a lot of emphasis on going forward and growing it with a national league coming up and of course with FIFA's proposal of 16 team global tournament. It's an exciting time uh, for women's football, not only in South Africa but also in the world. You're right, it's in, a, it's in a very good place. The more players we get to play at professional level, um, the more the level in our national team uh, will improve and also the players that are not there will try and strive and push to play, um, uh, to get contracts abroad. And it's by playing these top teams that, that our players get, uh, get recognition. And I think that's fantastic for us. A lot's been made about women's football and the right coach for women's football. Is it a man or is it a woman? What's your take on it? Many will feel that it's better for women to coach women uh, purely because of the connection that they have and that men are maybe a little bit more distant. But what do you make of it all? It's, because a lot has been said about it in the media. You, know, you see, I've been, most of the time when I was playing at uh, club level, um, at international level, um, the coaches were all male, um, in my opinion. And I think football is a matter of opinions. I think the best person um, should get the job. Um, because at the end of the day, you want, you want uh, the team to do well. Thank you so much for your time and good luck in 2018. I know it's a massive year ahead, but we wish you all the best on your journey towards the African Women's Championship and of course the World Cup. Thank you very much. And uh, I just want to say thank you to the South Africans for their support all the time. <laughs>